Dear friends, your host Shurma here. A very warm welcome to my channel and today's episode is a very special one where I am going to share with you how to create pretty roses in one stroke style in honor of the women of the world. The materials needed for today's project are all listed over here. So let's begin with chapter number one that is the backdrop for the painting. So as you see I have two elements with me. The first one is a white card base which is a side folding card and it is four inches on all four sides. So it is a square of four inches. Now the second one is a white watercolor paper and it is 3.3 inches on all four sides and I have dropped yellow and red watercolor at the corners of the paper. Now if you would like to know how to create this kind of effect then please click on the i button at the top right hand corner of this particular screen. It will lead you to one such tutorial. The second chapter deals with painting the rose in one stroke style. So here comes the palette. I have permanent rose acrylic color, deep magenta acrylic color and white acrylic and a flat brush number 6 which I am loading with white acrylic, deep magenta and permanent rose and I am blending the colors well. So this is triple loading or you can call it multi loading of the brush which is the speciality of one stroke style of painting. Next I go ahead and pick up my flat brush number 4 and I have permanent rose on it and I am creating a very loose form of the rose and I have also gone ahead and added a bit of deep magenta to it. Next I go back to my flat brush number 6 which is loaded with deep magenta, permanent rose and white and I am creating the first layer of the petals of the rose at the yellow corner. As I mentioned earlier, I am going to paint the rose in one stroke style and this is an amazing technique which helps to reproduce effects of nature very easily. It involves multi loading of the brush. It can be two colors or more and it helps in shading and highlighting with a single stroke of the brush. So please follow me as I try to create the pretty pink rose. Today happens to be 8th of March and the year is 2022. Now this date is celebrated every year as International Women's Day to recognize the social, economic, cultural and political achievements of women. It is also aimed at raising awareness about women's equality and lays emphasis on gender parity. It is said that where there is a woman there is magic. It is also said that a strong woman knows she has strength enough to go for the journey but a woman of strength knows it is in the going where she will become strong. Women must also love and care for themselves because that's when the best comes out. So at present I am already into chapter number 3 where I am trying to create the rosebud. So as I was saying a woman plays so many different roles. A loving mom, a caring sister, an understanding wife, a lovable daughter and so many more. So I guess that we have everything in us. And that is the reason why the world celebrates us all. I would like to quote an exemplary shloka that is a verse in Sanskrit which says Yatra naryastu pujyante ramante 
तत्र देवता वे विमेन आर ऑनर्ड डिविनिटी ब्लॉसम्स यू सी विमेन आर द रियल आर्किटेक्ट्स ऑफ द सोसाइटी हेंस टूडेज प्रिटी रोजेज नोट कार्ड इज डेडिकेटेड टू ऑल द लवली विमेन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो हियर्स टू यू स्ट्रॉन्ग विमेन मे वी नो दैम मे वी बी दैम एंड मे वी रेज दैम Well, I am almost done with the rose bud, and I hope you are enjoying the process till now. That leads us to chapter number four, that is painting the leaves in one stroke style. So, once the focal flower and the rose bud is done, here comes the palette for the leaves. I have olive green, raw sienna, deep magenta, and white acrylic. and i'm having a flat brush number 6 and i'm loading it with raw sienna white and olive green and this is triple loading of the brush once again and i'm trying to blend the colors well and that will help me to achieve very good results all right so here come the one stroke style of large leaves Now here the brush is loaded with olive green, raw sienna and white. A bit later you will also find me adding a bit of deep magenta to the mix of raw sienna and white and that will give a different look to the leaves. You will see in a bit. There you go. you can see i'm adding deep magenta to the already done green leaves and that totally changes the color of the leaves and also brings some interest to the painting here i have picked up a liner brush with olive green and raw sienna on it and i'm trying to create some stems Do you like what you see? Would you like to know more about one stroke style of painting? Then I would encourage you to please go ahead and visit my past video tutorials and I will also be very happy to drop some of the links in the description box below. Now one stroke technique has various levels so it is always good to start with the basic and then go on to the more difficult levels. So here I'm back with the line brush and I'm trying to create some more vines here and there. Time for some more leaves around the buds with raw sienna, olive green and lots of white. In fact, that helps to highlight those leaves around the buds. I'm trying to add some more green to the already done large leaves. At this point, I go back to my flat brush number six with permanent rose and white on it, and I'm creating tiny buds around the leaves. just to add some color to the painting here i'm lightening the leaves with more of white some vines until i'm satisfied with the entire painting and it's a very little piece of paper so there's not much to do over here at this point the panel looks good enough i feel so it's time to finish the note card 
so here are the elements which i have one is the white note card base second is the painted panel the next thing i did was i went ahead and added a sentiment to the panel and mounted it on the white note card and that's a wrap on today's project now let me know if you enjoyed watching me paint the pretty roses in one stroke style on this little note card also wishing a lovely women's day to you all it will be great to see you on my social media handles as well so do connect and it would be a great pleasure to be in touch with you also my gratitude and immense thanks for being there for me and supporting my channel and as always thanks for watching till the end here are some of my past painting video tutorials you would like them as well do check them out i will be back soon with more interesting painting video tutorials till then stay tuned take very good care of yourself and bye bye